So we do pick up the Defensive Player of the Week for Carlos Dunlap. Looks like Sam Bradford has taken over the New Orleans Saints and Drew Brees, so that's interesting. But we got the Patriots coming to MetLife this week. We have got to play better than last week. Somehow our overall went up from last week to next. It's the Patriots going up against the Jets. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Guy and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, thanks. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. This is absolutely a must-win game in my eyes. I don't want to start 0-2, and with the Patriots in this division, it'd be huge to get a win. We come away with a field goal in the first. And the defense playing well again here at home. We got a red zone opportunity. We're going to take advantage. It's third and two, though. Oh, my gosh. With Crowell in there. Oh, we signed a back to have better receiving ability. For some reason, he's starting on our team. And he freaking can't keep his feet in when he's standing wide open on the sideline. For that reason, screw it. I'm going for it. I'm going to put Isaiah McKenzie in, or uh, sorry, Elijah McGuire. Should be wide open if that linebacker's coming. He's not, but he's still open. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Pays off to go for it. Now let's freaking punch this thing in. Ah. McGuire drops it there. Definitely a big need for us is a good receiving back. Got Spencer Ware in there now. Maybe he can take that role. Oh, man. Offensive line is doing really bad. Jeez. Nobody open. Can't block anyone. This game's stupid. It's got Dante Hightower playing edge rusher. Really happy right now. Really in a good state of mind. Another kick. <laughs> At least this time we still are, we're up 6-0. We still got two moments to play. And there's a touchdown. Red zone alert for us. Four turnovers for New England. Hopefully it's some picks. Jeez, no one's open. Good job, McGuire. Nothing going for Darnold. Five for 15, 46 yards and a pick before half. Touchdown! First touchdown pass of the year for Darnold. Hits Morris, our stud rookie receiver. Get a touchdown before half, so we're in pretty good shape. We do have another red zone opportunity. Second and seven. I think I'm going to take it. This is our last time. We did have a full drive remaining, but this would put us up three scores if we can get a touchdown here as we near the fourth quarter. That'd pretty much do it. Ooh, way to spin off of that tackle, Morris. So two picks for Darnold. Like to see him take better care of that football. This is four down territory for me. I'd rather take the risk to go up three scores than just go up uh, by two field goals and a touchdown. But we don't need it. Spencer Ware, let's go. What a run. Good stuff, Spencer. You knew when we let Clive Walford go, we had to bring in someone else with a quality name like Spencer. So we're gonna go to the end of the game. 
And we are in control now. We get another touchdown. They do score. And the clock running out. Oh, man. It is close. Don't blow this, Jets. Whew. They almost did. 34 to 26, huge win against the Pats. So we get three interceptions. Let's see who did it. Yes, we get one for uh, two of our rookies. Benford, our free safety, and Barton. We're gonna have to go and look who had the uh, interception week one or who forced the turnover week one. We get two touchdowns for Morris. Pretty balanced game for the running backs. And then Darnold, not off to a great start, but it was enough. So we're one and one. We got Green Bay next week. So it was Tremaine Johnson in week one, it looks like, that had the interception. So let's go ahead and move on to Green Bay. Is this our third straight home game to start the season? Uh, no, we got to go to Green Bay. Oh boy, Leonard Williams ready to negotiate. Fine with me. Let's get you back, buddy. I'm going to overpay him because he's going to get a payday. Uh, no one really else we're too worried about losing this year, so that's good. Probably going to have some more money to spend in this upcoming free agency. Not expecting as big of a class as we just had as far as our options go, but so I'm actually going to spend some XP for Morris, you know, 20,000 to get him to superstar. I'd rather just develop the guy. He's our number one receiver. Let's make sure we get Spencer Ware in there over Isaiah Crowell, who disappointed me on that third down. That was a really nice touchdown run by Spencer Ware. That's how you get me to like you. you. Shrug off a dude and then truck on into the end zone. I like it. So the Packers are actually 0-2. So we're going to have to simulate this game along with our three play the moments being allowed. That is the other thing here is uh, we only play 500 teams or better. So a tough match here going into Lambeau. I'm not expecting a win, but crazier things have happened. And we do drop the game. And we don't just drop it. We get slaughtered, as I was kind of expecting. 34 to 9. No picks for Darnold. So we do come out unscathed in that department. Tariq Cohen somehow on the Packers. That's interesting. Not sure why the Bears would have traded him over. This game really needs to recognize when you have a receiving back and a guy like Jordan Howard, doesn't mean you need to trade the receiving back just because he's not your starter. Cedric Wilson also on the Packers. We do get two more sacks for Dunlap. Leonard Williams after getting his big contract. William Hayes, another sack. So he's holding on to that job with the rookie breathing down his neck. So we're going to have to sim again. Uh, new Buffalo Bills with that improved offensive line. Those two new edge rushers are one and two. So they do have to come home to MetLife. Hopefully we can get this thing going, get us a win. I don't want to fall to one and three. No, one and three. And we got slaughtered by the Bills. Ugh, this offense, man. We got to get things going. Sam Donald throws two picks. Tyrod Taylor is back in Buffalo. God, what is going on? This game is so all over the place. Jesus, 46 rushing attempts. Just nothing to speak of. Leonard Williams gets a sack and a half at least. No picks. This is ugly. We need this offense to get going. Darnold, three touchdowns to four interceptions. Really taking a step back after that last game. So at least if we beat New England this week, who we get to play again, we're only a game outside of first place. But my goodness, do we need to get some momentum here? We're so close to getting Darnold to superstar. <laughs> he's got to turn this thing around because at this rate, he's going to earn superstar and then lose it after a disappointing season. Let's see if we got any XP to spend for other guys. This run game just not working. I'm going to put Carpenter back in at left guard. Things just not working out for the rookie. That guy does still have quick development, so it's not like we're giving up on him, but... Uh, guy just needs to learn a little bit. 55 awareness just isn't cutting it for us. So we're heading to Foxborough. It's going to be a tough one. Don't want to fall to that painful 1-4, and four, though. All right, here we go. Red zone defense. Strange. Felt like every single game we started off with this red zone defense last year. Pick that up. Ugh. Can we get a holding call? Bring it back? Thought Barr might have had that one. But we will take the hold. Bring this thing back. 
And I actually want Darren Lee out there in the nickel package. A little bit better in coverage, I think, than Williamson. There you go. Boy, Dunlap's been great for this defense. All right, that is a stop. So one moment down, that was a success, I would say. And here we go, we're driving. We're on the five yard line though. I'm gonna trust the offense. Good job, we get the touchdown. Driving again. Here we go, red zone. Let's take over, first down. This would be pretty big to go up 14 to three. Oh, give me a block, Robbie, let's go. 14-3 Jets. So we got one moment left. We're going to just keep this thing moving. We do have a red zone alert. Let's see if we can score in the sim. Nice, they get it. Oh, they do give up some points before half, and now it's close. I'm going to trust the defense. Oh, they get a touchdown. Hopefully we get a full drive opportunity. Okay, do we take advantage of the red zone here? Or do we hope that we get a drive opportunity later? I'm gonna trust the offense. Okay, it pays off. Third down, control and keep the drive alive. Let's take over here, but we are going to treat this as our full drive. It is third and two though. There we go, there's a conversion. Darnold did throw another pick here, two touchdowns. Don't want to get too conservative here, but also with that clock on our mind, probably should have put two clock on. I bet Hightower makes this play. Nope. Big play coming up here. This could be considered the season on the line. Last thing I want to do is put the ball back in Tom Brady's hands. Oh no! And that's out of field goal range. Oh no, we're still in field goal range. Gosh, just had no one open. Give me the kick. Oh, I don't like this at all. But we gotta go to the end of the game. Come on, Jets, hold on. Oh, God, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. Freaking Tom Brady, of course.